Hello everybody and welcome to uh, this new Let's Play that I'm going to be doing. Yes, it's another Pokemon game. So which one is it? Game Freak Presents. Alright, <laughs> that's pretty loud. Uh... Okay. I don't really remember this intro. Okay, so you might have guessed it already. Well, you already know what it is. You already seen the title. So I don't I don't remember this intro. Yeah, there's our character. Or maybe not. We could be a girl. I think I'll, I will be a girl. It will be May. No wait, that's not May, that's Dawn. Piplup, I'm not gonna be choosing Piplup, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if the music is loud. I, I can't really... I don't... I was testing it right now, but... <laughs> I still don't know for sure if it's... Oh, and there's the legendary. We all know who that is. It's Maybe I won't say it. Just so... Not to spoil it for people that haven't even haven't played this game. Hello there, it's very nice to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Rowan. However, everyone calls me the Pokemon Prof- You're not the Pokemon Professor, you're, that's Oak. Before I go any further, is this your first adventure? If you need advice, I'm certainly capable of giving it. Uh, no info needed. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. Here, I have a few Pokeballs. Or, I have a Pokeball. Touch the button in the middle of the Pokeball, if you can, please. No, 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 not that button. The button on the Pokeball. No, no, not that button. Wait, do I, I don't even have a stylus. Yeah, that my, my 3DS doesn't have one. We humans live alongside Pokemon as friends. At times we play together. And at other times, we work together. Some people use their Pokemon to battle and develop closer bonds with them. What do I do? I conduct research so that we may learn more about them, or Pokemon. Now why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Are you a boy or are you a girl? Well, I'll pick a girl. Alright, so you're a girl. Yes. Tell me, what is your name? I'm gonna put uh, my girlfriend's name, as cheesy as that it sounds. Um, I, di I did this in my... when I first played uh, Omega Ruby. Your name is Nancy. Yes, that is my girlfriend's name. Okay, so you're Nancy. A fine name, that is. Now, this boy here, I believe he's your friend. What might his name be? Okay. So let's give him a new name. I haven't really thought about it. Um, uh, la last time, my his name was Johan. Uh, in my last Pokemon game, I, I did. So, um... Maybe something, uh, uh, how about, uh, no, 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 lowercase, something with an H, I'm thinking Hans, I, I don't even know if that's how you spell Hans, but it's, that's okay, Hans it is, 
I wanted something like kind of foreign, maybe like like uh, some something European. Hans, it is. That's your friend's name. Yeah. Okay, Hans. <laughs> All right, Nancy. The time has come. Your very own tale of grand adventure, tale of grand adventure, is about to unfold. On your journey, you will meet countless Pokemon and people. I'm sure that along the way, you will discover many things. Perhaps even something about yourself. Now go on, leap into your world of Pokemon. So this like first episode is probably going to be like a lot of just basic talking to like your mom and stuff like that. Okay, despite the exploration team's best efforts, however, the rare oddly colored Pokemon eluded detection. The rumored red Gyarados failed to appear, even fleetingly, to crestfallen team. To the crestfallen team. That concludes our special report, Search for the Red Gyarados. Brought to you by Juvelife TV on Nationwide Net. See you next week, same time, same channel. Alright. So let's, let's just check the PC. There might be something in there. Okay. Okay, no item this time. Okay. I didn't mean to look at that. So here's our mom. Nancy! Hans calling, came calling for you a little while ago. I don't know what it is about, but he said it was an emergency. Okay. We walk hella slow in this game. Jesus Christ. Oh, yes. Nancy. Don't go into the tall grass. Wild Pokemon might attack you. It would be okay if you had your own Pokemon, but you don't. So, Jesus Christ. I know a lot of people complain about how slow this game is. Oh, this is not the right house. I guess I could have talked to those people, but I don't really want to. Okay, here's Han's house. Thud. What was that about? Oh, hey, Nancy. Hey, I'm going to the lake. You come too, and be quick about it. Okay, Nancy, I'm fi uh, I'm finding you one million if you're late. Oh, jeez, forgot something. Okay. So, um, I don't even remember what you have to do. Do we have? I think. Well, let's just go see what he's up to. I don't want to talk to his mom. I better take my bag and journal too. Oh hey Nancy. We're going to the lake. I'll be waiting on the road. It's a 10 million fine if you're late. Okay. Hey, you saw that news report that was on TV, right? You know, search for the Red Gyarados, the mysterious appearance of the furious Pokemon in a lake. That show got me to thinking. I bet our local lake has a Pokemon like that in it, too. So that's what we're going to do. We'll go find a Pokemon like that. Okay. So that we're... Uh I don't even, I didn't really get to read it. What was it? Verin, Verid, Verity. Verity Lake. All right, to the lake. Let's find us a red Gyarados. What's going on? Professor, there's nothing out of the ordinary on the other side either. Hmm, I may have been mistaken. Something appears to be different than it was before, but fine. It's enough that we have seen the lake. Lucas, we're leaving. Professor, you've been gone for four years now. How are you enjoying being back in Sinnoh? Uh, 
There's one thing I can say. There are many rare kinds of Pokemon in Sinnoh. The region should serve us very well in regard to our studies. Excuse me, let us pass, please. Sorry, folks. <laughs> okay. What was that about, those two? Huh, Nancy, let's go check this out. What's that? Don't go into the tall grass? No problem, no problem. We won't be in there long enough for a wild Pokemon to come out. It's a briefcase. Those people forgot it in here. What are we supposed to do with it? We can try to deliver it, but that... But who are they? I heard them say Professor. Oh. What's going on? Alright. Look, there are Pokeballs. Let's battle using those. Or these. Hey, which one do you want? I am going to go with Turtwig. Even though Turtwig is not really good against flying types. It should be fine. All right. Hey, right, there you have it. Starly is down. Your Turtwig totally rocked, but my Chimchar was way tougher than yours. There were other people's Pokemon though, but we had to use them. They won't mind, will they? Whew, you found the briefcase. The professor would have gone through the roof if he knew I forgot it. Here. Huh? What? Did you guys, did you guys use the Pokemon? Oh man, how am I going to explain this to the professor? This briefcase is the professor's, so I'll take it, okay? Oh, did he take the Pokemon too? What was that about? I don't know what's going on, Nancy. Let's go. Let's get out of here. My Pokemon got hurt from the battle. If we get attacked by another Pokemon, we might be in trouble. You go ahead. I know we have to go return these Pokemon. They're not ours. But I want to spend a little more time with this little guy. Hey, it's those people. It's that old guy staring at us. Or is, what did he say? Hmm. I heard from Lucas that you used our Pokemon. Let me see them, please. Hmm, Turtwig and Chimchar. I see that's how it is. Lucas, I'm going back to my lab. Um, yeah, of course. Professor, wait for me. You should visit our lab later, I think. We'll be seeing you. What was that all? What was all that craziness about? I mean, if he was angry, he could have just yelled at us or whatever. And did he want their Pokemon back? Nancy, we should go home too. Okay. Oh, mom's cooking for us. I think. What's up, dear? Wow, I can't believe that happened to you. Am I ever glad that both of you and Hans are unharmed? The professor you mentioned is most likely Professor Rowan of Sandgem Town. I've heard that he is well known for his studies on Pokemon. I hear he is also quite intimidating. Nancy, I think you need to visit him in Sandgem Town. You need to properly explain why you had no choice but to use this Pokemon. Don't worry, I'm sure he will understand. Oh, I know, Nancy put these on. Nancy received a pair of running shoes. 
Going to Sand Gem Town is like an adventure in itself, right? With those running shoes, you can get to faraway places even faster. Okay, let me read you the instructions. Or, read you the instructions. Press the B button and dash about faster. And dash about faster than ever before. But the re uh, put on the running shoes and blaze new trails of adventure. Well, isn't that just nifty? Okay, um, I'm gonna check something. Oh, I can't press. Oh, there we go. I was pressing the actual start button. Um, we're gonna put tech speed to fast. And I could change the frame. It'll change it to red. All right. So we got Turtwig. Let's just ha head over to Sand Gem Town. Here we got a Bee Doof. At first, I, re I really didn't like Bee Doof, but now I do. He's pretty cool. I don't think there's any trainers around here. If your Pokemon's health, that is HP, getting low, you should go to home. Should go home and get some rest. So I don't really know too much about this game. I I played through it when when it first came out, and I haven't touched it since. So yeah. So I'm a bit foggy on. Pretty much everything. All right, so we'd probably level up for this. Yep, there it is. Let's see what this lady has to say. All right, never mind. Starly. All right. Hi, I work at the Pokemon. Do you know that a Pokemon's health is measured by hit points? If Pokemon runs out of HP, it faints and can't battle anymore. If Pokemon's HP is getting low, you should heal it with a potion. Here, let me give you a potion as a free sample. First one's free. It will automatically go into the medicine pocket of your bag. Alright. That ledge is one way. D uh, jump down for a shortcut to Twinleaf Town. Oh, here's Lucas. Hi, I've been waiting for you. Please come with me. The professor... Or the profs... The profs? I don't think anybody says profs. Waiting to see you. The profs waiting to see you. See, this is the Pokemon Research Lab. We'll just go ahead and... Thud. What the? Oh, it's you, Nancy. That old guy, he's not scary so much. He's not scary so much as he is totally out there. Ah, uh, it doesn't matter, Nancy. I'm out of here. See you later. 
What was that? Your friend always seems to be in such a rush. Anyway, let's go in. Finally, you've come. Nancy, was it? Let me see your Pokemon again. Ah, I see. This Pokemon seems to be rather happy. Alrighty then. I'll give that Turtwig to you as a gift. Now that it's yours, would you like to give it a nickname? No. Your friend Hans told me what happened at the lake. I heard you battled very well, despite it being your first time. And from what I see, there is a growing bond between you and that Pokemon. Though it is still young. That's why I would like to entrust you with Turtwig. Boy, am I glad you're kind, you're kind toward Pokemon. If you weren't, well, I don't even know what to think about it. Ahem, let's move on to the main topic. There's something I want you to do for me. My name is Rowan, I study Pokemon. First of all, I want to know exactly what kind of Pokemon live in Sinnoh region. To do so, it is necessary to collect data using the Pokedex. This is what I wish to ask of you. I want to entrust you with this Pokedex. Will you use the will you use it to record data at the Pokemon that would sit for me? Hmm. Good answer. Nancy obtained the Pokedex. This Pokedex is a very high-tech device. It will automatically record data on every kind of Pokemon you encounter. Nancy, I ask that you meet that you go everywhere and meet every kind of Pokemon in the region. I've got the same kind of Pokedex as you. When you walked on Route 201 with your Pokemon, what did you feel? I've lived for 60 long years. Even now, I still get a thrill when I'm with a Pokemon. Now, you should know that there are countless Pokemon in this world. That means there are just as many thrills waiting for you out there. Now go. Nancy, your grand adventure begins right now. The professor asked me to help, so I'm going to go out and fill the Pokedex pages too. That makes comrades. Uh, that makes us comrades, working towards the same goal. I'll teach you stuff later, okay? All right. Hey Nancy, I wanted to show you a few things, so follow me. This building with the red roof is the Pokemon Center. You can get your Pokemon healed if they've been hurt in battle. You'll find a Pokemon Center in most towns. Over here, the building with the blue roof is the Pokemart. It's a shop where you can buy and sell all sorts of items. Nancy, since you're a rookie trainer, you won't be able to buy very much stuff. But don't worry about it, okay? Oh yeah, right. Nancy. You should let your family know you're, you're helping Professor Rowan. But together, put together his Pokedex. Sometimes you have to go far away, so you should let someone know. Oh, but first, go heal up your Pokemon at the Pokemon Center. It'll be safe then, okay? Be seeing you. Alright, so let's heal. Turtwig got hit a few times. Um, it's not that big of a deal to heal him, but... Just to be safe. Thank you for waiting. You're rest we've restored your Pokemon to full health. Glad to see you again. All right. All right, so another Starly. Nothing we can't handle. Look at that.
All right, we're almost at level seven already. All right, so let's go tell our mom that we're leaving. Hey, mom. Welcome home, Nancy. Are you and your Pokemon healthy? It's so late right now. Take a quick rest. A quick rest? It's late. What's up, Nancy? Wow, Professor Rowan asked you to do something that big? Oh, dear. Go for it. Oh, wait. Okay, dear. Go for it. Your mom's got your back. Oh, I know, Nancy. I've got something that you'll find useful. A journal, huh? That's a journal. It keeps a record of your daily events. Check it, and you'll be able to remember what you did last. Gee, a journal full of adventures. I envy you, kiddo. Plus, you're not, uh, you're not alone. You have your Pokemon with you. I wish I could go instead. <laughs> I'm just joking, dear. I'll be all right by myself, so... Oh, I skipped it. When you're exposed to new things and experience it and experience new sensations, it makes your mother happy too. But come back sometimes. I would like to see the kind of Pokemon you've caught, dear. Excuse me, is my little Hans here? Oh, no, he's not. Oh, then he must have left already. What to do? That boy shouted about going to on an adventure, and then he bolted. He's, uh... He's so headstrong and reckless. I at least wanted him to take this. Not to worry, Nancy will deliver that to him. Won't you, Nancy? Oh, really? You do that for me? Please take this to Hans for me. A parcel. Bye-bye, Nancy. Enjoy your adventure. Let me think. Knowing my boy, he'd probably head straight to Jubilife City. Okay, please take this to Hans. Okay, yeah. All right. Got water down there. I just wanted to see if there's another route down there. It's another Starly. I actually don't know what Pokemon I'm, I want for my party. If you have any suggestions, you could tell me. I know for sure I don't want like a legendary in my party. That's like obvious. Um, I was thinking I want a, like a Buffalant or maybe a Carablast, something that doesn't evolve. I want. <coughs> Excuse me. I want something that doesn't evolve in my party. That's like the only thing I know for sure. Would this Carablast evolve? I think it has an evolution now. I think it doesn't have one in this game. Well, there's Lucas. Nancy, do you know how to catch a Pokemon? I'll demonstrate how to catch one, so just watch, okay? All right, Bidoof. Piplup was the first Pokemon, well, the Pokemon I chose in my first playthrough. And I chose Turtwig just because it's grass type and in my last Pokemon uh, game that I did on here, I uh, picked Bulbasaur. So I wanted to keep the trend going, pick a grass type. That's not really low HP, Lucas. Alright, Lucas. Stop wasting my time. 
And that's how it's done. Actually, I should have learned or lowered the... Yeah, see, that's what I said. Yep, the important thing is to lower the Pokemon's HP as much as possible. See, a healthy Pokemon isn't easy to catch. Or what? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. They also get easier to catch if you make one of your Pokemon put them to sleep or such. Here, Nancy, I'll give you five Pokeballs to get you started. If you have lots of Pokemon with you, you'll be able to travel farther. That way, you'll have a better shot of meeting more Pokemon. See you around. All right. Okay, this is my first battle with this, uh, he's probably a youngster. You're a Pokemon trainer. I happen to be a Pokemon trainer. Our eyes met, so battle, so battle we must. Yeah, youngster Tristan. That's an interesting name. Oh, great. So like in my Leaf Green playthrough, I want to I want to try to battle like every trainer. So I won't be I won't be avoiding any trainers. Alright, so next one should kill it. Alright, we got level 8. Too strong, too strong. That another trainer? Jesus. I spy with my little eye a trainer. A battle, please. Last Natalie. So I'm gonna have to use my potion. Um. Okay. One damage. Alright, so I guess I didn't need to. Ok, 
Okay, I think I think I'll run from these. Uh, if I get more wild encounters, I think I'm gonna run. Jesus. Let's have a Pokemon battle. Hmm. But I'm gonna win. Logan. That that would have been a good name for the rival. Oopsie. Leer, huh? I'm not too feeling uh, Shanks. I don't think I would want Shanks in my party. I mean, it evolves into something cool, but... I don't know. I'm not feeling it. Absorb, okay. <laughs> You're like, wow. <laughs> All right, so that's great. Oh, speaking of shanks. Oh, and those intimidate, huh? That guy's not a trainer, right? No, you're not a trainer. Some Pokemon only appear in the morning, and some only come out at night. I'm going to keep waiting here till I see the last, every last one of them. Okay, no encounters. Okay, great. Hey, Nancy, how many Pokemon have you caught? <laughs> huh? I think you should catch some more. It might be more of a challenge racing a lot of Pokemon, but it's worth it. The more Pokemon you have, the happier you'll be. In Jubilife City, there's this, there's the trainer school. Check it out, Nancy. Oh yeah, Hanton's went to the trainer school earlier. Okay, see you around. Work hard on your Pokedex. Alright, so where's the trainer school? This should be it. Oh, there he is. Hey, Nancy. Did you come to study, too? I went ahead and memorized everything that was up on the blackboard. After all, it's a trainer's job to avoid having their precious Pokemon hurt in battle, right? So, Nancy, what brings you here? What brings you, huh? You got something for me? So what is this? Score, it's a town map. Huh? Why are there two in here? I like it a lot, but I don't need two. Here, Nancy, you can take one. Alright. Hmm. Well, according to the town map, I guess Orberg City is where I should be going next. There's a gym, so it's a perfect... Uh, it'd be a per... Jesus, so it'd be perfect for raising the Pokemon I just caught. Well, I'm on the road to becoming the greatest trainer of all time. See you around. Alright. So I think that's a good place to stop. So let's, uh, let's save. Wow, it's taking a long time to save. Okay. Alright guys, so next time we'll continue on Pokemon Pearl. 
we'll go over to Orberg City or wh however it's pronounced. And uh, yeah, maybe explore this town a little bit. Oh, uh, we should probably go to the Pokemon Center. What does this lady say? Past here is the GTS, which stands for Global Trade Station. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. You don't have any gym badges. Off limits if you don't have a gym badge. Okay. Whatever, lady. All right. So I'll see you guys later.